How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Flo, and today we'll be going over the three new switch skills introduced in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. This is not a tutorial of the hammer's entire move set. We are strictly focusing on the new switch skills introduced in Sunbreak, which are as follows. The spinning bludgeon charge, the impact burst, and keeping sway. The first switch skill that we get is the Spinning Bludgeon Charge. The other two become available to us at Master Rank 4, immediately after we find Tadori. So let's begin with the Spinning Bludgeon Charge. At first glance, this new move might not look like much, but there's a lot more than meets the eye here. Well, let me just show you. Spinning Bludgeon Charge allows you to practically chain fully charged attacks infinitely. When you perform the attack, during the attack's animation you can hold the right trigger to store charge into your hammer. This charge then carries over when you switch back into your blue state, allowing you to infinitely chain charged attacks. You can either hold ZR to charge, release to perform the attack and quickly hold ZR again, or you can hold ZR to charge and press X to release the attack while continuing to hold on to ZR to charge your hammer. You can interrupt this attack at any point during its animation by pressing A, the same button that you press to switch in between blue and yellow. The Hunter will then perform a quick repositioning spin, which has a very small window of iframes just like going from blue to yellow. The charge level that you interrupt the move at carries over into the next charge, whether it's strength or courage. If it's uncharged, it will perform a level 1 charge. If it's at level 2, it will perform a level 2, and if it's at level 3, you get the point. Just remember to always charge during the attack, otherwise you can perform the entire thing, switch back to blue and get a measly level 1 charge. Mwah, mwah. This attack might feel a bit unwieldy at first, you're probably going to whiff a few times until you get used to it, but once you get the hang of it, this thing is awesome and so much fun to use. Just keep in mind that when you release the attack, your hunter takes a somewhat large step forward. If you're mindful of this, you'll never miss. It's also great for covering distance too. The invincibility frames are the same as switching from blue to yellow, very tight, but slap on a bit of evade window and it'll be much easier to time it or evade extender and you won't need to worry about timing it at all because you dodge into another country. Again, it might not look like much at first, but don't sleep on this attack. It's honestly great. It gives hammer more options and it's just really a lot of fun to use. It also happens to synergize really well with the next move we're about to cover, Impact Burst. Impact Burst is pretty self-explanatory. It replaces Impact Crater, you perform it the same way, ZLNA, and it costs only one wire bug. It's an attack and a buff all in one move. It buffs all of our charge attacks, giving us an additional burst of damage in the form of a mini shockwave, and it lasts for exactly one minute. It synergizes super well with both Courage and Strength Hammer, especially considering the fact that we can pretty much chain charge attacks indefinitely in both Strength and Courage. What's there not to like? It works on all of our charged attacks, including the Silkbind attacks like Impact Crater, Silkbind Spinning Bludgeon, and Dash Breaker, if you're into that. Well, that's Impact Burst covered. Overall, another awesome move added to our arsenal. Now this next one is my absolute favorite. Keeping Sway is an incredibly awesome new addition to the hammer. It's very simple to use and it has great perks. You perform it by pressing ZL and X and it uses one wire bug. It's a very quick evasive maneuver that allows us to maintain our charge level. On top of it, our stamina also recovers during its animation and it has invincibility frames from beginning to end. It has a fast wire bug recovery as well, so as long as you manage your wire bug usage well, you always have keeping sway as an option. This move is seriously the best thing ever. It's offense and defense in one slick package. And that's all of Sunbreak's new switch skills covered. Hammer is in such a good place right now. With the tweaks to courage, the buffs to charge attacks across the board and the new switch skills, it's stronger, faster, bonkier and more fun than it's ever been. I can't remember having this much fun with it in Rise to be honest with you, or even in Iceborne. Maybe it's the honeymoon phase or something. Either way, all of these new moves are seriously a blast to use. I love it. The KO King is back guys. It's back and it's more fun than ever. Do let me know if I missed anything in this video and talk to me in the comment section about how you're enjoying the hammer so far in Sunbreak or anything Sunbreak related really. If you want to see how Courage Hammer has changed in Sunbreak, check out this video right here. Other than that, that's all from me today, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. Take care, and until next time, happy hunting.